Hey, welcome back to Lee Writing on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to import a screenplay from a word processing program like Microsoft Word into Final Draft. Um, basically, all you need is to have your screenplay in RTF format, which is rich text format. You can see up here, that's the title of my screenplay, .rtf, rich text format. Um, pretty much every screen, or pretty much every word processing program allows you to save your document in RTF format, whether it's Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. You should see that selection, RTF, when you save your, um, when you save your document. You go to Save As and then choose your format. Choose the file type as RTF, rich text format. Uh, so if you have a screenplay that's already f uh, set up properly with the proper margins, like I have it here, you'll be able to import it pretty successfully into Final Draft with all of the smart type set in place. Now, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So, okay, this is what this looks like. So set your screenplay up in a word processing document, RTF uh, file format, or file type, I should say, RTF, and then, you know, have your margins. It looks like a normal screenplay. Okay. Now go to Final Draft. All right, this is Final Draft. Uh, you know, don't have anything open. Now you want to go to Open, Open, and... Okay, so this is the window that comes up. Now, this is my folder for the screenplay, the screenplay folder. And it's not showing the RTF because it's only files of type and then it's this. So we want to change that so it shows rich text documents right there, RTF, see? And now it'll show the RTF file that's in that folder, which is the one I just showed you. So you click on that, click open. And now it's going to ask, open file as. Do you want to open the file as a script or as a text document? Now this is very important. You want to open it as a script, not as a text document. If it's a text document, then nothing's going to be formatted. Yeah, you want to open it as a script. That's the best chance you'll have of it being formatted like a script in, in the document. So click script. And see it's being converted. And now, voila. Everything looks good. Okay. Everything looks like a screenplay here. But we want to make sure. So let's look at the smart type. And everything's in place. It's got all the character names already set up. It's got the extensions, scene intros, locations. That's really good. Uh, a little messy there, but that's okay. Yeah, that would have to be deleted. But for the most part, it got them all right. See, I mean, the conversions aren't going to be perfect, but if your file is if your file is spread up, if your screenplay is set margin properly and set up properly in the word processing document, and you save it as an RTF, for the most part, it'll import fairly well into the final draft, and you'll have all of the location names in place. Uh, this one uh, has a little dot there. That shouldn't be there, but Bob grins. Yeah, that's wrong. So you delete that. Uh, sidewalk. Yeah, that's okay. Help is wrong. So, you, you know, you'd have to go through the smart type and just to double check to see what things don't belong. You know, locate like wing, wing demon number two. That's not a location. So you would delete that. But this is a location. That's a location. That's not a location. Uh, sky. Um, well, you'd want to take out the night. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be right. Sidewalk. Because you don't want to include day and night in your locations. You just want to have sidewalk or so. And so, so you would edit it like this. Like that. And okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, you yeah, got two sidewalks. I guess that doesn't matter. And there you go. Pretty much all good there. Day and night, yep, everything's fine. Now let's go through this to make sure all the, yeah, all the character names seem to be good. Okay. 
And why, why is that important? Well, you know why, because when you type a slug line, it, the smart type remembers it, so you don't have to type it again. Oh wait, no, we don't want to save it. So, see, and then, I, there you go. So that's just a little trick. If you're someone who has typed screenplays in, in a word processing document, and you want to, and you get Final Draft, let's say, and you want to import those scripts into Final Draft. Well, that's an easy way to do it. You just let me let's go over it again. It's like, no, let's go one more time. You go to Home, Open, change this to Rich Text Document. Open your Rich Text Document. Click Script. There you go. It's that simple. All right, so I hope that made sense. Uh, remember, no matter what uh, format you type your screenplay in, uh, you can always change the file format in the word processing document. It's so simple. Just change file type to RTF, uh, and that's how you do it. And, there, and even if you don't know how to do that for some reason, there's plenty of converters online, like doc to RTF converters. I mean, there's so many things, ways you can convert a word processing document to RTF. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, so once you have the RTF of your screenplay, uh, very, very easy to import it in the final draft, as you just saw. Okay, and look, it's pretty much all there. You know, everything's margined properly. Um, everything's there. And even, see, scene heading, it even has that action character. It read it all perfectly, dialogue. So you don't have to set any of that either. Very easy to import in the final draft. All right. So that's it. Uh, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon. All right.